Get set for cellular therapy to fight type 1 diabetes. The Food and Drug Administration recently approved the first cellular therapy to treat type 1 diabetes. That's right, as the medical community progresses toward an ultimate cure for type 1 diabetes, on June 28, 2023 the Food and Drug Administration approved a new drug called Lantidrit to treat type 1 diabetics who have great difficulty reaching their targeted blood glucose range without suffering episodes of hypoglycemia. As you know, hypoglycemia causes very low blood sugar episodes that potentially can cause a seizure or ultimately a diabetic coma if not treated right away. This new therapy is really exciting news and bodes well for further cellular therapies to help type 1 diabetics. Just think how relieved type 1 diabetics will be to know there is an approved therapy that will give them a much better chance of achieving their targeted blood glucose range. Staying in range without having to worry about a low blood sugar episode becomes a double blessing. More controlled blood sugars can only help the patient to avoid the many health complications caused by uncontrolled blood sugars. Cellular therapy for type 1 diabetes involves using cells to replace or regenerate the insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas, which are destroyed by the immune system in individuals with this condition. In the case of Lantidra, pancreatic islet cells from deceased donors are injected directly into the patient's pancreas. Islet transplantation involves transplanting clusters of cells called islets from a donor pancreas into a person with type 1 diabetes. Islets contain beta cells that can produce insulin. This procedure is still considered experimental and generally reserved for individuals with severe hypoglycemia unawareness or severe diabetes complications. Stem cells possess the ability to differentiate into various cell types, including beta cells. Researchers are exploring ways to generate functional beta cells from different types of stem cells, such as embryonic stem cells, induced pluripotent stem cells, iPSCs, or adult stem cells. This approach aims to replace the damaged beta cells and restore insulin production. Since type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease, cellular therapies are being investigated to modulate the immune system and prevent the destruction of beta cells. This can involve using regulatory T cells tracks, to suppress immune responses or reprogramming immune cells to tolerate the beta cells. This is a fascinating technology that has taken decades to get to this promising point. It's worth mentioning that many cellular therapies for type 1 diabetes are still in the experimental stages and are being tested in clinical trials. With this new FDA approval, Lantidra becomes the first approved cellular therapy treating diabetes. This is a very exciting step forward in the march toward a cure for T1D, don't you think? If you or someone you know is interested in cellular therapy for type 1 diabetes, it is essential to consult with healthcare professionals and specialists who can provide guidance on the latest advancements, ongoing clinical trials, and the suitability of these therapies for individual cases. Let us know your thoughts on this new therapy and how it may help someone you know. Please subscribe and hit the like button for more exciting cutting-edge information like this video. This channel is where we will find the answers to diabetes together. Thanks for watching.